Hello Nail Kitties, it's Katie from Van Filden Art Studio. Today I'm bringing you this look of pure elegance with most recent trendy twist. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Metallic Gradient Effect Nails. I personally love this sophisticated elegant look, but before we jump right into how you can recreate this, you should know that if you like this video and want to see more, you should subscribe and therefore you will never miss any future video like this from me. I'm starting off with wiping my nails with acetin polish remover to get them rid of any excess oil that may interfere with base coat and color polish that I'm about to use. I'm applying Nail Pure Base Coat from Nail Sync right now. It helps to smooth the surface of my nails and color polishes adhere to it much better than to an actual nail bed. I put the list of all products that I used down in the description bar if you are interested. As a base color for today's nail art, I chose this one from Nail Sync called Space Space Baby. Official description of this color was uh, baby pink, the foil type of finish, but to my eyes I see it as a light lilac. It is pink, but only at certain conditions. I can see some strokes of a brush on my first coat here, but I can improve that with the second coat, you'll see. For my ring finger I decided to do an accent color, it's gonna be this gunmetal blue called Space Cadet from Nail Sing. Again, it's a type of polish with metallic foil finish. This one is super opaque even on that first coat. And I love these two colors together. <laughs> I'm gonna clean those overdrawings off camera. <laughs> Just for fun, I decided to do my right hand in inverse color scheme to my left hand and I'm looking forward to see how that goes. <laughs> mm. I just love this color combo already and we're even on my first coat, so that's amazing. For my gradient I want a nice and clean canvas and I can still see a bit of patchiness on my nails so I'm gonna apply a second coat to improve it. I am to be using the stamping method for the gradient so I need some kind of protection cover. Today I chose this peel of tape from Mitty. The greatest advantage of product like this is that it cannot go bad in progress of time. <laughs> I love it says on the cover, it's a pastel color, but in actuality the camera registers it right. It's bright neon. I prepared this makeup sponge. It's a regular one from drugstore, nothing special about it. I'm gonna pair the lilac shade with this really dark and really nice purple classic cream. It's a Viking in the Winter Wonderland from OPI. Now I take the sponge and draw two stripes with my selected colors. Both of them should overlap a bit, so the transition between them is smooth and without any harsh lines. I take the sponge and just dabbing it onto my nail. Whenever I feel I need more polish, I just paint the sponge again. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Because I want the tip to be as dark as possible, I'm gonna lock the tip of my nail so none of that lilac color would shine through. I'm completely happy about the nail how it looks now, so I'm gonna take the peeling of my nail. I want to do that before the polish has any time to dry whatsoever, it would get stuck otherwise. And I know because I've previously made that mistake. Now onto my blue color combo. To complement the metallic blue, I'm gonna use this nice dark blue cream. 
I live in Europe and we have here shops called Mariono. It's somewhat similar to Sephora and this is their Polish called Navy Pioni. Once again, I'm taking my trusted sponge. I will use the clean side this time and I'm gonna repeat the steps all over again but with the different colors. I'm drawing these two stripes again but this time the sponge soaked up a lot of pigment from the navy peony color so I did have to work on that but eventually I got the desired effect. And now I'm painting the edge to darken the tip of my nail. And now I can remove the peely. And it's time for a top coat. I'm gonna use this quick drying one from Nail Sync. It leans a bit orange in the bottle, but on an actual nail it's completely see-through. It does not stain the color underneath. And besides to be a protective layer of my many, it will help to blend the colors together even more. Now, my protective cover on the sides of my nails can be quite drying for my skin, so I'm gonna use a cuticle oil to help the areas gain some moisture back. This packaging is transparent, so it's great to see how much product is left in the pan. And this is my version of metallic gradient effect. What do you think? Let me know in the comments which color combo is your favorite, whether is it the purple one or, or the blue one? I'm curious to read all about it. I personally think that connection of metallic and cream color is very lovely. I really did enjoy creating this video for you guys, as well as wearing this many for some time. And once again, if you like this tutorial, then please subscribe, therefore you won't miss any future videos from me. And I will see you next time. Bye!